let us see the numerical related with the paper industry especially dealing with the chemical recovery plant so this numerical is based on the calculation of the steam economy and number of operators of a chemical recovery plant so this one is mainly for material balance exercise so you can see the problem here so I explain the steps for calculation of steam economy and number of operators of a chemical recovery plant in an integrated industry handling 500 tons of black liquor per day which is having solid percentage of 12 percent and concentrated to 67 percent solid using series of operators that means more than one operator is there so assume any other data if required right so basically you have to assume the some parameters depending on the knowledge of the industry here so you can see the solution how to start the steps here the first step is to find the solid quantity so solid is given by 500 multiplied by 12 by 100 without 500 tons is the quantity of the black liquor which is coming to operator section per day right so we take the 500 tons here and 12 percent is the given as the input solid percentage that means the black liquor is coming to the operator plant it's having the solid percentage of 12 percent so it's 500 into 12 by 100 and this will give you the 60 tons of the solid in the black liquor that means the incoming stream is having the solid of 60 tons so water in the incoming liquid will be 500 minus 60 because 500 is the total quantity already we have calculated the quantity of solid that is 60 tons so 500 minus 60 will give you the 440 tons per day now we'll take the basis for calculation a solid quantity amount of solid will be taken as the basis for calculations because the water is getting operated in every stage and it will be having the reduction in the quantity but solid is not getting operated it will remain in the system in all the operators if you are having take for example five stage operation so in all the operators the quantity of solid will remain same in the liquid or in the liquid stream so we'll take the solid as the basis for calculations the total quantity of black liquor after operation can be calculated by taking the 100 by 67 multiplied by 60 why you are taking 100 by 67 because after operation in the numerical it's a given 67 percent is the solid that's a uh, black liquor is concentrated from 12 percent to 67 percent solid so 67 percent will be taken as the output concentration of the liquor here so total quantity of black liquor will be 100 by 67 multiplied by 60 tons per day so it will be 89.5 tons per day now the next step the how much is the water that is present in outgoing stream so water in outgoing stream will be total quantity 89.5 tons per day that is the total quantity of the black liquor after concentration minus 60 so 60 is the quantity of the solid here so it will give the 29.5 tons per day that means after operation there is a only 29.5 tons water is present whereas in the incoming liquor you can see here when it entered the operator it was having the 440 tons per day of the water that means water is being reduced from 440 tons to 29.5 tons so how much is the water that is being evaporated you can see here we are taking the water evaporated 440 minus 29.5 that is 410.5 tons per day now the point is the based on our knowledge and depending on the different industries basically we are having the steam economy figure and this figure is basically changing from 4.5 to 5.5 in most of the industry so steam economy is equal to the water evaporated divided by steam consumed so it will be changing from 4.5 to 5.5 especially in our indian context in indian industry even in the other 
industry throughout the world. This is basically average figure. So you can take the average steam economy in the operator series equal to 5.0. That means for every one ton of the steam consumed in the operator, we are evaporating nearly five ton of the water. Or for every kg of the steam utilized, we are evaporating five kg of water here. So how much of the steam consumption? Total water evaporated is already given. It's a 410.5 tons per day. So steam consumption will be the water evaporated quantity divided by the steam economy, that is five. So we are getting 82.1 tons per day. 82.1 tons per day is the steam consumption in our evaporator plant, which is normally having five or six evaporators, right? So basically, the, when we are designing evaporators, we are getting the figure that this evaporator is capable of evaporating this much quantity of water based on the input parameters like the black liquor, concentration, again, the chemical and physical characteristic of the black liquor, depending on the raw material, whether it's coming from the woody raw material, wood based, or from the agro residue, or from the some other type of the reused materials, you can say, depending on the raw material, hardwood, software, the so evaporation will be slightly varying depending on the input parameters. So, take for example, again, you will to assume here that the water evaporation capacity of one evaporator is nearly 100 tons per day. Right, so you can assume it is so depending on the parameters. So basically, you must be knowing from this knowledge we are having the generally five or six operators are used in the operator series. So number of operators will be given here depending on the water operated total quantity is 410.5 tons divided by capacity of one operator 100 tons per day. So it will give the 4.1. So when we are selecting the number of operators or any equipment, we are taking on the highest side because in the we assume in future the production capacity will be increasing. So we have to take the margin. So it, even in the future, we are increasing the production rate or we are modifying some technologies that will give you the higher production. So we can adjust the increased amount of the raw material. So we'll be increasing here. In place of taking four, we will be going for the five years. So we'll take the number of operators five. So that is the base calculations and uh, some of the inputs, how we are doing the calculations here and finding the number of equipments or consumption of the steam and other type of the ingredients and chemicals here. So that will give you the idea about the material balance of the actual problem of the paper industry. So this problem is especially related to operators, which are the most important equipments in the chemical recovery plant, apart from the furnace and the boilers. So in the next series, you will see the, some of the numericals of the furnace and boiler also. Till that point, if you are having any doubt, you can post it or you can ask again on the WhatsApp number or in the Google Classroom. Okay, thank you.